Spontaneous coronary artery dissection, or SCAD, is one of those pathologies that gets added to the list of stuff that I have learnt since becoming a doctor. Although I've never seen one, I'm struck by the numbers 47 to 53. Why? Because approximately 90% of patients with SCAD are women who present between 47 and 53 years of age. It's such a specific age range and I thought that might make SCAD more memorable to me. Anyway, now that I am also in my 40s, I can definitely say that SCAD is an important cause of myocardial infarction in young people. SCAD is rare across the piece. It accounts for less than 1% of all acute myocardial infarctions. SCAD, however, is not a disease of atherosclerosis. In SCAD, the commonest pathology is intramural hemorrhage, which causes luminal compression and then coronary obstruction. The next thing to remember is that SCAD accounts for approximately 15 to 20 percent of myocardial infarctions during pregnancy or the peripartum period. It's thought sex hormones may play a role in the pathogenesis of SCAD, but the mechanism and magnitude of effect are unknown. Strenuous physical activity has also been associated with SCAD, as has a type of arteriopathy called fibromuscular dysplasia. The chief symptom of SCAD is chest pain, reported in 85-96% to of patients. It can be associated with radiation to the arm, neck or back, with breathlessness and diaphoresis. Approximately 20-50% to of patients with SCAD present with STEMI, making it relatively easy to spot. 3-5% to of patients present with ventricular arrhythmias for which cardioversion is warranted, and 2% of patients present in cardiogenic shock. Worryingly, 27% of initial troponin levels are reported as being normal in patients who ultimately receive a diagnosis of SCAD, making it relatively easy to miss. As this chat is more about recognition of SCAD, I'm not going to go into management aspects. However, expert consensus suggests that medical management is preferred over immediate revascularization for patients who are in a clinically stable condition. Mortality after SCAD is low, about 1% over a period of three years. However, it causes a significant effect on morbidity, including recurrent myocardial infarction, restrictions on certain types of exercise, and significant preconception counselling and multidisciplinary pregnancy care for women who have had SCAD and wish to become pregnant. Additionally, migraine headaches, anxiety, depression and post-traumatic stress disorder commonly occur in patients after SCAD. The three things I'll try and remember about SCAD it has an oddly specific age range, pregnancy and chest pain, and significant morbidity. This is an excellent review article that a lot of the information in this talk is from, so have a read if you can.